What's the one piece of equipment that can double your chances of survival if you're caught in an avalanche? We are gearing up for another day out in the snow and with that comes a lot of pieces of gear that we put on. From our helmets to our boots, there are all sorts of protective gear that we use every single day. And that piece of equipment that I mentioned is an avalanche pack. Now we use the Highmark Avalanche Packs and today we're going to be going through the different models, telling you about each of them and their different features, why we use them, how we use them. We're also going to touch on beacons, probes, shovels. It's really important to have all this avalanche gear, we're going to tell you exactly why. So let's get started. first piece of gear that we're going to show you guys today is the Avalanche Transceiver. We've been using these BerryBox S Transceivers from Mammut for the last few years and these things absolutely rock. They offer these in the BerryBox S and the standard BerryBox. With the BerryBox S, it's super simple to use, but there are a ton of pro features within this thing as well. It also has the longest range of any transceiver on the market, which is probably one of the biggest stats that you can mention. Uh, so check out the Barry Box S. It's what we trust day in and day out out there. Now let's get into the next thing, the shovel. So what good's a transceiver if you can't dig someone out in a companion rescue situation? One of the most important things to carry with you in the backcountry is a shovel, and one that's not gonna break. Whether you're digging through avalanche debris, digging yourself a shelter to stay overnight, or digging your snowmobile out, really important to have a quality shovel. This is the Mammut Alligator. They make the Alligator and the Alligator Pro. They both have handles of adjustable length and the head can also go into hoe mode, which is super useful for digging out your snowmobile if you're stuck. Now, working backwards here in a companion rescue situation, it's extremely important to know precisely where to dig in the avalanche debris to not waste any time. So it's really important to carry a Pro. Now while Jack's over here in hoe mode, I'm going to pull out my probe, which is the Highmark Carbon 280 Probe. These things are great. They got all sorts of increments of measurement over them. They're solid. They lock in nice. Um, this is something that you should be super good at using. You should be able to whip it out and lock it in place without it even hitting the ground. Now I'm not going to do that in here because I don't want to poke your eye out or damage the roof of our trailer, but these things are absolutely essential out in the mountain. Um, not only are they super crucial in a companion rescue scenario, but they are great for measuring your snow depth and just checking for any obstructions in a, in a landing potentially. Now let's talk about that piece of equipment that can double your chance of survival if you're caught in an avalanche. And that's the avalanche pack. Now here we have the Highmark Pro Pack. And one of our favorite features about the Highmark packs is that they keep the shovel on the outside. So that's valuable for a couple of reasons, but as we were just talking about companion rescue scenarios, seconds really matter. Being able to go up to your buddy and pop his shovel out for him is gonna save you both seconds. It also keeps the snow on the outside of your pack after you're done digging yourself out. You don't wanna put a snowy shovel back inside your pack with your dry gloves. So that's one of our favorite features on the exterior of this pack. So let's throw this thing on the workbench, open it up, and show you exactly what's going on inside of this pack. So as Jack mentioned, here we have the Highmark Pro Bag. This is a 22 liter pack, so pretty darn good size. It's kind of that happy medium. Um, it is not adjustable, so it's just a fixed amount that this pack can hold. Uh, on the outside are a couple pockets that make a lot of sense for a snowmobiler. Uh, one being this pocket right here underneath your shovel. This thing is awesome. Uh, the shovel being on the outside of the pack like this, it acts as almost like a little turtle shell. So if you have anything that's fragile or might break, this is a great pocket for this. I throw an energy drink in here typically. Um, never had one break within my bag, so that's what I use that pocket for. On the top here, we have a goggle pocket. I have one pair in there now. You can definitely fit two. Definitely soaked at the thought behind this with Highmark, you know, having your goggle pocket on the outside of your pack so a buddy can grab a pair out of there easily for you. It's definitely something that you do each day in the mountain. Now, getting into this pack, keep in mind, that you can use any of these pockets and storage for anything that you want. Uh, right away, one thing that's great about these Highmark packs uh, is the probe sleeve that's integrated into these. So when you're loading up your pack, make sure that you're putting your probe in its designated sleeve and it is not in the sleeve that it comes in when you buy it online. Um, so put that probe right in there. It's one less step that you need out of the mountain in a companion rescue scenario. Additionally, we just have a couple of mesh pockets that you can throw a pair of goggles in, 
the med kit, whatever it is. That's that's what's great about these packs. It, it'll fit you, use it for your personal items, however you feel that it makes the most sense. Now moving on to the main compartment here, you'll see on the left side, there's the cylinder. So this sleeve houses the cylinder. Um, you can swap these out very quickly. They just thread in and out. Um, there's no tools, nothing like that. There's also a gauge right here that indicates the level at which your cylinder is filled to. So that cylinder, when triggered, inflates the Mammut Protection Airbag System. When inflated, this airbag is one of the largest on the market. And when you're in an avalanche, that's what helps you float to the surface and improves your chances of survival. The airbag also wraps around your head to protect your head and neck from trauma, which is a leading killer in avalanches as well. What else you'll see in this main compartment here is several pockets. This big one is great for keeping, you know, first aid stuff, any survival gear, uh, protects anything from bouncing around. There's also a radio pocket. If you have a wired radio that goes into your pack and a pathway for that to go to your straps. So that's all the interior features. Let's zip this thing up and have a look at the other side of the pack. So here we have the straps and the part of the pack that you actually wear on your back. One thing that you guys will see right off the bat with these Avalanche packs is the trigger location. This is huge. Uh, the trigger being located on the right handle just shows that these things are made by snowmobilers for snowmobilers. So what that allows you to do is if you're in an avalanche or have an avalanche coming at you, you can grab a handful of throttle trying to evade the thing and still be able to deploy your airbag on time. So that's a great feature of these packs. Um, additionally, these things, uh, the way that they're designed to come over your shoulders, they really carry the weight nicely. So you can load these things up um, and they'll support the weight really nice. There's a ton of adjustability. Here we have some adjustable hip straps. So we move these things down to the XL mode because we're over six feet tall, but you can move them way up to accommodate that shorter torso. And again, just kind of dis distribute the weight uh, the way that you want to. It's super easy to make these adjustments too. These buckles, for example, can move between these loops up and down your chest. Check this out. A couple layers of Velcro secure these hip straps right in here. And like Dylan said, you got a couple inches of movement up and down here of adjustability. You'll also see mounts for radio, Velcro, other loops to contain your cords and wires for anything you have going on on your straps. One thing to note too is once you get these packs fitted to you personally, these things are super light to begin with. So once it is fitting you the way that you want it to, you won't even notice the thing is back there. One thing that you see a lot is guys taking off their avalanche packs to hit jumps and uh, drops and whatever in a little zone that they're riding. Honestly, we end up riding with our packs on most of the time. It's just because we don't even know that they're back there. So uh, that being said, that covers about all of the features that we can show you on the Highmark Pro Bag. Um, they do offer a guide bag, which is actually identical to the Pro Bag, other than this is a 32 liter pack. So the only difference between the Pro and the guide bag is the adjustable depth. So if you're a guy that doesn't need a whole lot of storage, you can suck this thing in. But if you're a guy that wants to take a lot of stuff onto the mountain with you and really jam your pack full, make the most out of your storage, expand this thing all the way out, and this is the pack for you. The last pack we wanna talk about today, the Charger X Vest. This is one of the newest additions to the Highmark line. It's got a lot of the great features that we talked about in the other two packs with the protection and weight distribution of a vest. So the pockets up front are great for storing your transceiver. There's a little pocket here where we like to keep our um, terrain evaluator card, companion rescue notes, snowmobile registration, uh, waterproof pockets are great for that. And it's got a ton of adjustability. It comes in two different sizes, so you can dial it in to fit you just like the other ones. Uh, but it's got that weight distribution across your torso, which is really nice. All right, so we wanted to share this message with you today because with each season that goes by, we learn more and more about how to manage our risk out in the mountain. With that being said, you guys, check out this gear, get the right gear, learn how to use it, and practice with it, most importantly. Yeah, we practice periodically throughout the season. Uh, we'll be practicing during our first ride every year. So keep an eye out for our first ride video. This year we're gonna incorporate um, the tips and techniques that we use when we're practicing with our avalanche gear. But at the end of the day, 
the best way to avoid an avalanche death is to not be in an avalanche at all. So get educated and learn how to minimize your risk out there so we can all live to ride another day. So if you guys have any questions on any of the products that we just showed you today, please be sure to hit us up in the comments. Other than that, we'll leave all the information on this stuff in the description below. And thank you guys so much again for watching another episode.